Hey guys, Everything Tech Pro here and today in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install Geekbench 4 on your iOS device and what are the requirements? It must have iOS 7 and above and it must be an iPhone 5 and above, iPad 3 or 4 and above and iPod Touch 3rd generation and above. So Geekbench is like uh, your benchmark testing app which tests how fast your device is, how fast the operating system of your device is so the method which i'm going to show you is semi tethered which means that once you install the geekbench it won't last more than a week or maybe 10 days at the max and you need to redo this step again and again after it just stops working so what happens after it after the validity goes up the app won't open it will crash and you try to open it n number of times it'll crash so the second thing which you require is a computer it may be a windows or a mac so you could have any of the OSs. So the third thing which you require is a Cydia Impactor and the Geekbench 4 IP file. For both of them, I'll be leaving the links in the description below. So you could get the Geekbench and the IP file from the respective links on the bottom. And the other thing which you need is an internet connection. So because once you install the app, it's going to ask you the iTunes or the Apple ID and password. So. What you do is when you open the CDM Impactor and connect your device, you should be seeing the name of your iOS device right there, whatever it is. By default, it's generally iPhone, but if you have renamed the, the device, it's going to be showing something what you have renamed. So if you have seen my iTransmission video, it's just the same. Drag and drop the IPF file, and then it's going to ask you the username and password. So don't hesitate to give it because it's just going to Apple to verify whether the Apple ID, which is used to sign into this device, is same as the one which you are entering right now and I'm gonna give okay so I think it's done yeah okay it's just started when you see list teams right there it means that the password is correct and once this thing is done you you're gonna be seeing the Geekbench right here so let's see so it just takes about two minutes or three minutes at max it won't take much time so let's see right here it's signing the ipa so <clears throat> let's see okay so meanwhile i'd like to also tell about um the other methods to do it is by uh jailbreaking it and then you download the jailbroken uh play store or the app store and then you download it so that's kind of complicated you need to jailbreak your device which voids your warranty so you can see Geekbench 4 is here and before you open what you need to do is you need to go to uh, here settings and general when you scroll down you have the device management option right here and when you tap that your uh, you'll see your email address as a developer app right here when you tap here and then you need to trust it and then when you, once you're done you could open the Geekbench so here it is it shows your model OS and the processor which the device is running and the RAM so you could go here and run the benchmark test. So that's it guys for this video. I'll see you up in the next video and please don't forget to check out my other videos about the iOS 10.2 uh, which has released just now and also about the macOS Sierra 10.12.2 which was also released before a couple of days. Peace.